hey guys welcome to my channel today i'll bring to you a new and interesting video this time around we'll be learning how to make a bag pattern yes a bag pattern the one you're seeing on your screen so if you've not subscribed to my channel please click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell and also like this video so let's pro <laughs> so the measurement we'll be using is eight by six because it's a mini bag so the width is eight inches wide while the length is six inches high or six inches tall as you can see six inches so now at the length we'll be taking about two and a half inches so we take about two and a half inches and at the other side we'll be taking about four and a half inches note it is by the length the length the height not the width so we're taking two and a half at the uh, one hand right four and a half at the other hand so now at the other hand at the bottom now that is the width you can see that it's 1.5 remaining on the length so we're taking about 1.5 inches also on the width then you connect it together see just watch carefully and follow the pattern very easy to make mm. so once you've done that we're going to cut it out so that will serve as our front pattern Trying to make a curve. So you can see at that side also it's still 1.5, so we are on track. Yeah. So now we'll be using our front pattern as a guide to get our back at the top and the flap so now after you've traced the back after you've traced the front pattern right there then to the top we'll measure about 1.5 inches to get our top parts For the flap, at this point, we'll be measuring out two and a half inches. Two and a half inches. And at the other hand, we'll measure out three and a half inches. Yeah, once you've measured it out, you're going to connect the both lines together. 
connect both lines together then once you've connected once you've connected once you've connected the lines together you get our midpoint remember the width is eight inches our midpoint will be four inches so we get your mid points So once you've gotten your midpoint, you're going to go down by one inch or you can use half inch depending on your preference. So you can decide to go deeper than one inch. So I'll be making one inch. Then you can see at the edge there, I measured out half inch. Then I made a curve. You can see I'm repeating it here, half inch. Then you make a curve touching the point you marked earlier so that's it so then we will now connect all lines together we'll now be connecting all lines together make sure you make a curve at the middle at the middle you make a curve So once you've done that, you're going to cut out our pattern. This will serve as our back, our top, and our flap, like I said earlier. To get the side of our bag, we're going to measure out the circumference of our front pattern. And after measuring it out, I got 17 and a half inches. So the length is 17 and a half, while the width is 2.5 inches. So once you've done that, you're going to cut it out. Then once you've cut it out, we're going to attach all sides together. So these are the patterns now. Now for the lead, the strap there, you can cut it at any length of your choice. I did that about six inches long with one inch wide. Yeah, one inch wide and six or seven inches there about length. So depending on how you want it, but make sure one is longer than one or rather one is shorter than one. <laughs> So each of the strap will be attached to the front pattern and the um, the flap. At the flap, we will attach it to the midpoint, the curve. There we have our depth. While at the front pattern, we attach it at the midpoint. As you can see, just watch the way I place it so you understand what I'm trying to say properly. So 
you guys this is the end of the video you can see that it's very easy to make please if you like this video give it a thumbs up like share and comment on the comment section and also if you're just passing by please don't forget to subscribe we love very so 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 much love to have you in our midst and if you're returning selby we say thank you for always staying glue with us so to I come our way next time with another interesting diy i'll say remain blessed bye